Question number one, the diagram on the right show the graph of the functions f of x. So A determine the coordinate of the maximum points and equations of the axis of symmetry. So the points on the top here, this is the maximum points. So it has the coordinate x of 2 and the coordinate y of 4. So the maximum points, the coordinate is 2, 4. And the vertical straight line that pass through the maximum points here, so this is the axis of symmetry. Therefore, the equation is x equal to 2. Question B. Make generalization on the shape and position of the graph when the following values change. Hence, sketch the graph. B1, the value of A changed to negative 10. So originally, the value of A is negative 3. For a quadratic graph with the A less than 0, the smaller the value of A, the width of the graph decreases. It's getting narrower. So this is the original graph. These red dotted lines here is the graph when the value of A changed from negative 3 to negative 10, which is getting narrower. The maximum points remain the same as we only change the value of A. B2. The value of H changed to 5. So originally the H is equal to 2. Now the H here is the X coordinates of the maximum point. So when it's changed from 2 to 5, so the graph with the same shape is going to move horizontally 3 units to the right. So this is the original graph. So this red dotted parabola here is the graph when the hash changed from 2 to 5, which moved 3 units to the right. So now the maximum, the coordinates, will be 5, 4. And the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal to 5. Question B3. The value of k changed to negative 2. So originally the k is equal to 4. So this k here is the y coordinates of the maximum point, which is the maximum value. So now when it changed from 4 to negative 2, this means the graph with the same shape is going to move vertically 6 units downwards. So this is the original graph. So this red dotted parabola is the graph when the value of k changed to negative 2, which moves 6 units vertically downwards. So now the coordinate of the maximum points will be 2, negative 2. The axis of symmetry still remain the same, which is x equal to 2. Question number 2. The diagram on the right shows the graph of these functions where k is a constant, given h negative 6 is the minimum points of the graph. So a state the value of h, k, and p. So for questions a, from the vertex form here, we know that the coordinate x of the minimum point is positive 3. Therefore, the value of h is equal to 3. And from the vertex form here, this positive 2k is the minimum value, which is equal to the y coordinates of the minimum point. Therefore, 2k is equal to negative 6. So k equal to negative 6 divided by 2, so k is equal to negative 3. Now, to find the p, now from the graph here, we know that this p is the same as the y-intercept. Now, this function f of x now is equal to x minus 3 square minus 6. Now, as we know, this 2k is equal to negative 6. To find the y-intercept, the coordinate x is equal to 0. Therefore, we're going to input 0 into our functions. So this bracket here is negative 3 squared, which is 9 minus 6. Therefore, you're going to get number 3. So this 3 is the y-intercept. Therefore, p is equal to 3. b. If the graph moves 2 units to the right, 
determine the equations of the axis of symmetry of the curve. So when the graph moves two units to the right, now the minimum points will be 5, negative 6. Therefore, the axis of symmetry is x equal to 5. Question C. If the graph moves 5 units upwards, determines the minimum value. So the minimum value originally is negative 6. When it moves 5 units upwards, the minimum value will be negative 1. Question number 3. Compare the graph of each of the following quadratic functions to the graph f of x equal to x squared with its vertex at 0, 0. The diagram that I have here is the graph of the f of x equal to x squared. So the minimum points of this function is at the origin 0, 0. So this is the minimum points. So from these functions, we know that the a is equal to 1. And for this function, we don't have the value of b, which means the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. Therefore, the axis of symmetry is x equal to 0. And the y-intercept is equal to 0 as well. Now, we want to compare this graph to the questions A. f of x equal to 1 over 2, bracket x minus 6 square. So, from these functions, the value of A is 1 over 2, which means originally the a is equal to 1. Now, it's become 1 over 2. So, the value of the a is getting smaller. So, for a quadratic graph with the a greater than 0, the smaller the value of a, the width of the graph increase, which means the graph of 1 over 2 the graph is wider. So the diagram that I have down here, the, the red parabola here, is for the graph with the a equal to 1 over 2, which is wider. Now from the vertex form that we have here, we know that the minimum point is 6, 0. So the x is equal to positive 6. And we don't have the k, which is the minimum value, which means it's still going to be 0. So which means the graph that we have here is going to move to the right 6 units. So now the minimum points will be here, 6, 0. So the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal to 6. Question B, the function f of x equal to 3 bracket x minus 1 square plus 5. So for question B, the value of a is equal to 3, which means the value of a changed from 1 to 3. So the value of a is getting bigger. So for the graph a is greater than 0, the bigger the value of a, the width of the graph will decrease, which means the graph the width is getting narrower. So the diagram that I have here, the red parabola is for the graph of functions b with the a equal to 3. Now, from the vertex form, we also know that the minimum point, the coordinate x is equal to positive 1 and the minimum value is equal to 5. So which means the graph is going to move 1 unit to the right and 5 units upwards. So this is the final position of the graph of questions B. So now this is the minimum points with the coordinates of 1, 5. So the axis of symmetry, the equation is x equal to 1. Question C f of x is equal to 1 over 4 bracket x plus 1 square minus 4. So for question C, the value of a is equal to 1 over 4. So it's changed from 1 to 
1 over 4. So the value of a is getting smaller, which means the width of the graph will increase, which means the graph is getting wider. And now if we compare the question C to the question A here, this 1 over 4 is even smaller than this 1 over 2. Therefore, the width of the graph for question C is wider compared to the question A. So the red parabola here is for the graph of question C. Now, the minimum points of question C, the coordinates will be negative 1 and negative 4 which means the graph is going to move one unit to the left and four units downwards. So this is the final position of the graph C. So here is the minimum point with the coordinates of negative one and negative four. And now the axis of symmetry, the equations will be x equal to negative one.